Hi. In a previous video, I showed you how to create a basic, quick and easy website using Google Sites. In a follow-up video, I showed you how to add a custom personal domain name to your Google Sites for about $10 a year. Now I'm going to show you how to add Google Analytics because if you're going to have a personal website, it makes sense that you at least track how many users are coming to your site and what pages they are accessing. So if you go to Google Analytics, so if you go to google.com slash analytics, so the first thing you're going to do is hit sign in. And I'm going to sign in just with my basic same information that I used to set up my Google Sites account. And you'll likely have a get started button. And so you have to do that and then name your account. In this case, I've already been, I've already accessed that. So now I basically want to add an account. So if I click on admin, I can click on new account. So I'm going to call this Allison Lowenthal. In this case, I'm just going to copy the URL from the Google Sites. I'm going to change this to Mountain Time. I'm going to uncheck these two. I'm going to agree to the terms and create an account. So then it gives me this tracking code, and I'm just going to copy this, and I'm going to go back to Google Sites, and I'm going to go to More, and then Manage Site. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to check Enable Google Analytics. I'm going to paste that UA code in there, and I'm going to hit Save. And just like that, I've set up my account. So then, later, I can log into Google Analytics at any time. So I just go to google.com slash analytics. I log in. And then I'll see my account right here. So I'm going to click on that, and so I can see my account. And so there are a lot of things you can do as far as tracking how many visitors you're getting. In this case, I like to click over on the content. And then I like to click on site content and pages because I like to get an idea of who's coming to my site and what are they visiting, how long they are spending on each page, etc. In this case, I just added Google Analytics, so it's going to take a little time for this to start showing up. But this is the basic benefit of Google Analytics. Thanks.